Hey there, Bear fam. Welcome to another episode of Bear Thoughts. We speak so much about the largest global garbage crisis and why it's so harmful to us. Its implications are far and wide, the most negative of them being health and environmental implications. But in a country like India, waste is also a social justice issue. Every day, thousands of waste pickers segregate broken glass, sanitary napkins and needles, all with their bare hands. But the global garbage crisis did not blow up one sudden day. It's been an issue that has slowly built up incrementally and now is a serious crisis that demands all of our attention. How did this actually start? And to answer this question, we will have to go back to understand how we consume. For starters, we are subjects of an urbanization globalization era, which is coupled with being caught in a web of convenience. Groceries can now reach you within 10 minutes at the click of a button. We're truly spoiled for choice. And the products that we end up purchasing are destined to go to the landfill. And owing to these factors, we don't necessarily think of personal trash, but instead attribute it to a larger global problem over which we have no control. But why are products made this way? Most of the products that we use in our daily life follow something called the linear economy model. According to this model, manufacturing products follows a one directional process from raw material to waste. It follows the steps of take, make, use and waste. The linear economy model was a result of the industrial revolution. It allowed for goods to be mass produced. Industrial countries became societies of abundance, population soared, and many millions were pulled out of poverty. However, an eventual result that perhaps most did not foresee was the inefficient use of resources it caused and the mass disposal which could not be managed. In the linear economy model, products and materials are generally not used to their full potential, resulting in a polluting system that severely damages natural systems and is the driver of global challenges, including climate change and biodiversity. To tackle the effects of the linear economy model, many solutions have come up, some of them being increasing the usage of a particular product or upcycling of fabric or segregation and responsible disposal. A longer, more sustained solution is to look at an alternative to the linear economy model, and this is the circular economy model. A circular economy is a system where materials never become waste. The model is designed so as to prevent waste generation by design. Products and materials are kept in circulation through processes like maintenance, reuse, refurbishment, recycling and composting. Since products are designed keeping in mind longevity and durability, the circular model tackles climate change and other global challenges like biodiversity loss, waste and pollution. Sounds complicated? Trust me, it's not. It's actually super ubiquitous and we've been sitting on a gold mine we had no idea about. Tracing its origin from 18th century British India, the Dabbawalas of Bombay are an exemplary example of how zero waste uh, can be put in action while creating over 5,000 plus jobs and supporting a community health by delivering home-cooked meals to over 2 lakh people, all without producing any trash. A model that none of the delivery apps in the startup era India can even compare. A good old composter is an example of a circular economy model. By segregating wet waste from dry waste, wet waste is added to a composter and when it slowly degrades, we receive the treasured black gold, our compost. There are many brands that have incorporated principles of circular economy into their business models. A notable example is Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola has a returnable glass bottles program designed to minimize waste. At the end of the bottle's functional life, it can be recycled into new glass bottles because glass can be recycled repeatedly without any quality loss. Similarly, Soap Bottle. As the name suggests, it's a brand that makes soaps. But what's so unique about their offering is that it has no external packaging. The bottle contains liquid soap, and once the liquid soap gets over, the outer storage container can be used as a soap bar. Isn't that so cool? Waste can also be used as an input to create something unique. 
Saving Grains is a brand that's based out of Bangalore and they use spent grains to make delicious yet nutritious goodies. Historically, brewers and bakers were known to have worked very closely together, mostly because they shared common ingredients such as grain, yeast and water. So bakers gave brewers their leftover bread to brew and ferment with and brewers gave bakers the spent grain and yeast to make bread. And based on this concept, Saving Grain uses spent grain to make products such as granola, laddus and flour. External packaging material cannot be avoided. But zero waste and circular alternatives can be innovated. A new packaging raw material is seaweed. Yes, you heard that right. Seaweed. The Good Ocean ethically harvests indigenous seaweed from the coast of Goa and processes it for restaurants, breweries, distilleries, beauty companies and individual customers. Some other companies working on this are Notpla and Zero Circle. A concept of circular economy is the refill economy, which is com- completely negates the use of external packaging. At Bare Necessities, we offer a return your jars program through which customers can return their old bear jars to us in return for a discount code and can also come over to our office to refill their glass jars with a product of their choice. And this cuts down the usage of virgin packaging. Something very similar to this is our everyday groceries. Most local Kirana stores keep their groceries such as rice, pulses and lentils loose. As a consumer, you can take your own jars and containers from home and pay for the kilo of the product purchased alone. You can do the same even when you go out to purchase sweets or snacks. Adrish Zero Waste Organic Store and Organic World are some of the well-known stores that offer this program. If you enjoyed this episode, then you should totally check out our online course about circular economy on benecessitieslearning.in. Packed with circular economy concepts, interesting examples and expert guests, it's one of Udemy's top-rated courses on circular economy. And until next time, let's continue to make zero waste living the norm and not the exception.